Joanna Marie, and for all souls in purgatory. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, SVD, Shrine Rector. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The Church celebrates today the memorial or the feast of the exaltation of the cross, connected with the dedication of two important churches in uh, Holy Land, the place of the crucifixion of Jesus, church constructed by Constantine, and also connected with this is the, the, the finding of the true cross of Christ. For us, the cross is the central symbol and image of Christianity. The only furnishing that is required in every liturgical place is the cross. Not any other image because it is precisely connected with the salvation brought for us by Jesus. We thank God for such an expression of love for us and we continue to implore God's help for our world that may the power of Jesus' cross bring healing to our world. To celebrate worthily this Eucharist, we now ask God's mercy and pardon. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and, and grant us, us your, your salvation. salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Receive our, our prayer. prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son should undergo the cross to save the human race, grant, we pray, that we who have known this mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. With their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, we have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole. And if any of you who have been bitten look at it, they will leave. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever one, anyone who had been beaten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Hearken, my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter mysteries from of old. Do not forget the works of the Lord. While he slew them, they sought him and inquired after God again, remembering that God was the rock and the most high God, their redeemer. Do not forget the works of the Lord. But they flattered him with their mouths and lied to him with their tongues, though their hearts were not steadfast toward him, nor were they faithful to his covenant. Do not forget the works of the Lord. But he, being merciful, forgave their sin and destroyed them not. Often he turned back his anger and let none of his wrath be roused. Do not forget the works of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped, rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory. to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in Him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might ha be saved through him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed day to everyone, a blessed beginning of the week. Last night, I, I uh, tried to see the bibliography regarding this uh, theme of the cross. And it is interesting that uh, at least in the, uh, in the Catholic or the Christian tradition, of course, no, the, uh, there are several works, the latest of which a full, two full books regarding the cross in terms of history, arts, and other uh, perspectives. There are two full books of more than 200 pages. The, the cross continues to fascinate and captures the imagination of peoples, even the, uh, the non-believers, it seems. Last uh, September 11, we celebrated the 19th anniversary of that tragedy that happened in the, the World Trade Center. I do not know if these seminarians were born already. 2001. Uh, and uh, I was a young missionary. <coughs> in Argentina that time and uh, one of the the news or that uh, that would uh, capture also the imagination of the world after this uh, event in on September 11 was the a uh, an object in the form of a cross at the ground zero. It was discovered by a worker there among the wreckage of the Twin Towers. No? Beams in the form of a cross. No? And uh, it was to many eyes simply a couple of intersector, intersecting beams. No? to take the form of a cross. Others, however, regarded it as the structure's uh, survival of a cross beams as symbolic, a symbol of consolation, hope, and healing. And many believed it to be a miraculous, to be miraculous and divinely granted sign that God has not abandoned His people even in that tragedy. However they perceived, they uh, perceived it. Visitors began to uh, attach messages and prayers to the cross, to that. They left photos mementos 
of their lost loved ones. And it became simultaneously a tourist attraction and a pilgrimage site. Some view this cross as a holy relic. That's why in the process that later on of uh, uh, reconstruction, they removed the debris and uh, they removed also the cross and transferred it to a place. You know, and people continued to visit it. And a priest blessed it and declared, for example, Behold the glory of the cross at the ground zero. This is our symbol of hope, he said, our symbol of faith, our symbol of healing. And masses, stations of the cross were celebrated there. With the completion of the uh, memorial uh, and the museum, they installed this beam as part of the artifacts of that catastrophe. Of course, it became controversial right away. Uh, the, a group of uh, atheists started to do a uh, legal battle against it, that it was inappropriate to use and place a symbol of a sectarian group movement in a place, a public place, and use uh, public funds to maintain it or construct it. Only in 2014 that uh, uh, the court denied the ATE's claim suit in favor of the, uh, the people and the museum, adding that the exhibit was aimed at neither converting people to Christianity nor discriminating against non-Christians. As we celebrate this feast of the exaltation of the cross, which commemorates, as I've said, the dedication of two important churches on that side of the crucifixion of Jesus and the finding of the, uh, the true cross, today uh, we recognize that the symbol of the cross continues to fascinate the minds and imaginations of people. And throughout the history, you know, it remains the central symbol of Christianity that inspires devotion, consolation, and hope in the midst of life's difficulties and tragedies. For outsiders, the cross is a negative sign because it is connected with death. I remember reading somewhere that the cross is a negative pung soy, they would say, because it is connected with death. They would prefer the garden, the water, as a sign of life. No. But cross, connected with death. Bad pung soy, they would say. Some see it as a glorifying pain and death and promotes defeatist attitude. That is when it is seen outside. But the cross seen from the perspective of faith from inside, Christian faith, is a sign of love made concrete in deeds and such deed of love became the source of life and salvation for others. The message of the cross, especially in the context of this tragedy of pandemic, like those who face the tragedy of September 11, 
the message is clear. Christ has not abandoned us. He is with us in our suffering. As he promised, just as the as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up that whoever believes in him might have eternal life. We ask the Lord to be the healing and life of our world. Just like those of old during the time of Moses, that those beaten by serp serpents were cured and lived as they looked at it. May the power of the cross, the symbol of His love and victory, bring healing and life to our world. As we say when we pray the Stations of the Cross, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. And the Eucharist is indeed, in fact, the fruit of the cross of Christ. And this life-giving bread was concretized on the cross, given when Jesus gave his life for us. And that is what we commemorate in every Mass. As I've said, no other liturgical furnishing is required in the liturgical space except the cross because the cross no, the, or the Eucharist is the fruit of the cross of Christ, the sign and the source of life for us. May we find meaning, consolation, strength in the cross of Christ, the sign of his love and victory. Amen. Let us now pray to God the Father who loved the world so much that He gave His only Son to die for us upon the cross. That the church on earth may fight on to victory beneath the standard of the cross. We pray and say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That people of every nation and culture may find freedom and peace through the one whom God raised on high, we pray. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who stand in need of God's mercy and forgiveness may find hope in the cross of Christ as a way to peace and reconciliation, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may see in the cross of Jesus the hope of complete healing and recovery, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who sleep in Christ may be cleansed of their sins through the blood of Christ's sacrifice, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our other intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, in this life and the next, our hope is in the cross. Grant our petitions as we praise you for your mercies. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, which on the altar of the cross cancel the offense of the whole world, cleanse us, we pray, from all our sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you placed the salvation of the human race on the wood of the cross, so that where death arose, life might again spring forth, and the evil one who conquered on the tree might likewise on the tree be conquered through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. fund of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for, for by, by your, your cross, cross and, and resurrection, resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Onesto, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those who we remember in this Mass, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With gratitude in our hearts, let us now address our Heavenly Father for with the prayer our Lord Himself taught us. Our Father, who Lord art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will, will be done, done on, earth on earth as it is, it is in, in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God crucified for our salvation. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ. Amen.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Let us pray. Having been nourished by your holy banquet, we beseech you, Lord Jesus Christ, to bring those you have redeemed by the wood of your life-giving cross to the glory of the resurrection who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come, we come to, you to you in our, our need, need to ask your protection, protection against, against the COVID-19 that, that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick, to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all, and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus, and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly, fly to your protection, protection O Holy Mother, Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Reinademetz. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, your loved ones, and your work, activities, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.